Hello, my name is Terry Durham. You're here at one of our elderberry farms in central Missouri, the Hank Waters Farm picking elderberries. They're all starting to get ripe in this field. This is one of our production fields. We got some nice berries in this field. This is the old heirloom variety called Adams. It's an indeterminate type, so it puts berries over a long season. It's been around since about 1926. It's one of the four main varieties that we still grow here. These are all planted 12 foot apart in our rows. We planted them on a biodegradable plastic mulch. There's a berry drip irrigation line in there. We have kind of moved into mostly where we just manage a, this one orchard now, and then I work with other growers that we have started to uh, get growing the elderberries. And then we all aggregate our berries together in River Hills Harvest to sell them and to make products out of them. Well, the whole idea of farming is to get things stabilized so that we can move them into the market. And here at River Hills Harvest Elderberry Producers, we like to grow the berries that are the very best types for commercial production. We started selecting them back in 1997 for the very best ones for the Midwest to grow. So we will train the growers to grow them for us and train them in the processing so that they can produce berries that will work in the food industry as an ingredient. And then we aggregate all the berries together for the farmers and then we can sell them in larger lots and then produce them into the products that we make here at River Hills Harvest. The pure elderberry juice and then the honey sweetened juice, jelly, lemonade, syrup, all elderberry, that's what we do. All right, so now we have moved back up to the processing stage here where we're going to take those berries we've picked and we're going to move them through and get them washed. But the first thing we always do when we come in here is get all the equipment and the buckets sanitized. First of all, you've got to remember, you want to get one of these baskets underneath there to catch the berries in. All right, so now we're loading up the elderberry destemmer with the ripe berries. And we're going to turn it on here and start to shake. You'll see how they'll start, they're even starting to fall off down here into the tray already. All right, let's start her up. We'll shake, doesn't take too long. I think we got a full tray. And the whole trick with the triple wash system that we use and the containers is that the right berries all go down to the bottom and the unripe berries and stems and insects all come to the top. Then we skim them off the top, get rid of any of the green berries, any of the stems and things that are in there. Once we have the, have the basic first little sanitizing in there, we try to keep it in there for 15 seconds maybe at least. Then we'll move it into the second rinse, first of the rinses, second sink. And we'll do the same thing there, strain them one more time, and then a second rinse. Now John's getting ready to pack up a bucket of berries. We put 25 pounds of berries in the bucket, and that's what we call a, a full bucket of berries. And we had to put a code on each bucket for the grower and the day. The first number would be eight because it's 2018. We use the last number of the year as the first number. Then we use the Julian date. So today's the 223rd, I believe, day of the year. And then each of our growers is trained to do this process and then they get a number and they have a grower's number and that way we can keep track of the product as we put it into the processing facility and then when we go out to the stores we know which farm that stuff came from. And they'll go from that field this morning where we picked them into that freezer today and they'll be frozen by tonight. We like to go from the field to the freezer always in one day. That keeps them super fresh. Bring in this new crop because this offers a new thing for farmers to grow, especially people that are, have a market garden and you're, you're confined to that summer selling so much you don't have any value added products. Elderberry is a perfect money crop because you can sell it all at once and it's a good cash flow for you. It's easy to take care of it with your other vegetables and it's that one thing that's, that's totally uh, native so it makes it really easy to grow beautiful and we're doing all the research right here in the Midwest and we know these varieties are superior to the, anything else. It's very very rewarding. We can make a difference. It only takes a few people working hard and being dedicated and loving this earth to make a difference in your community and in this world. <laughs>